my name is Dileshni. This is my daughter Tamisha. We are all the way from South Africa. Tamisha is four years old and she's born with cerebral palsy and cortical blindness. When Tamisha was 11 months old, I discovered that Tamisha wasn't reaching her milestones as a normal baby would be doing. So I decided to take her for MRI scans and CT scans which I picked up that Timisha is partially brain damage and she was diagnosed with the cortical blindness and the cerebral palsy. Okay. Now, uh, how, uh, what did you do in South Africa? Did you go to doctors? What did they say? So when I took her skins to the doctors, they told me that this is the situation that your daughter is facing at the moment. And in order to get her lifestyle in in a way to um, take your time. Um, <clears throat> to motivate them more into doing things, we need to do physiotherapy, occupational therapy, physiotherapy and speech therapy, which I have been doing, but there wasn't no improvement that I've been seeing to Tamisha in her progress. So as I've got a friend back in South Africa, which she helped me um, Google and do a bit of research on how about to get Tamisha to lead not a normal life but help her gain her independence. So we came across the stem cell treatment and as we read up more, we looked for hospitals that uh, specializes in this treatment. So as we did some research, we came across um, advanced cells which specialize in the stem cell treatment. We contacted Dr. Lapi. Um, so she basically gave us a rundown on how the stem cell treatment will be done, the procedure, the cost, um, what will, what's the requirements and how many days the treatment will be and so forth. So we gave the go ahead of Tamisha being booked for the stem cell treatment. So back in South Africa we had to do a fundraising. As being a single mom and unemployed, finance wasn't on our side at that moment. So we had to do a fundraising to get the funds to do the stem cell treatment. So we are in India at the moment. The treatment was very overwhelming. I was there to actually see how the procedure um, was being done for Tamisha. But um, at the end of the day, it was a positive feedback that I have did. The hospital is a very good facility. The staff is friendly. They, were, they took good care of us at the end of the day. So before Tamisha could not be able to move her hands, move her legs, move her, her fingers, her hands should always be clenched into a fist. But now after the treatment she is trying to actually sit up on her own, her hands is more open, her muscles is more relaxed, she, it's not so stiff like how it used to be. And the stem cell also, I think, work for her eyes as well, just a bit, because she's beginning to look around more than usual. I would actually recommend the stem cell treatment to all the mothers out there that has children that has special needs and that's in Tamisha's situation. It's born with the cerebral palsy and the cortical blindness. In a way, it's um, a positive thing. It'll help not only your child but maybe relatives as well and it will be a good thing for them as well and i would recommend ibs hospital as well to everybody because it's um it's a good hospital advanced cells i would just like to thank them as well for everything the that they did it's the best thing that they ever came across and to actually help children with cerebral palsy because I was told that uh, stem cell treatment does not work with cerebral palsy children but proven fact it actually does. I've seen it and I think others would see it as well. Yeah.